Hello, Zafis community, and welcome back to Nelgro Times Conservation. So, in this video, I'm going to be driving the Sheridan, which is a Arrow 2 light tank that you get right after the T92. Yeah. So, in today's video, I'm going to be driving on highway, just like last yesterday's video, where I drove on highway, but on the opposite side of the map. I'm not going to be doing about 14,000 spot assists, but I'm going to be doing something close to that. And yesterday's video was in the Armadillo, which just got released like yesterday. So I'm going to go over the crew and the commander I have. Well, the commander and the equipment pieces I have on this tank. So basically, I have rapid loading, off-road driving, supply conservation, muffle shot, green thumb, six cents, camouflage expertise, and board leader. Yes, that is only seven, eight skills. And now for my equipment. I'm using the Advanced Concealment, Powertrain, Traction System, and the Enhanced Target Info. So basically nothing for um, accuracy. Wait, take out the Rapid Loading because I didn't have it on there because I unlocked the skill. So only had seven Crucians. But anyway, that's not really important. Now, the Sheridan... Actually, has pretty good concealment if you have it set up like this. Also, I'm using smoke, which also gives you 20% more concealment just as a passive boost, which is very nice to help your concealment. So right now, I'm pretty much only a proxy spot, just like the Armadillo's veil yesterday. And But I also have a derp gun, which this is the only tank in Cold War that has a derp gun on it. And it's one of the one of the two uh, Western Alliance Tech Tree light tanks that has a ATGM or a missile. The Sheridan has it, and the Bradley has a two-shot missile launcher. And if you want to count the the yeah, there's only two in the Western Alliance that has ATGMs. So basically. And this tank, use your concealment. Max out your concealment. Very nice to have. High explosive everything, like the M60s and the light tanks. And missile the Russian heavy tanks. So basically the T-72s. You missile those, and you high explosive the light tanks and the medium tanks. Well, the M60s. So that's pretty much how you do it. And you just run around and be fast and high concealment, which is very, very nice to have. And that missile did not penetrate, so it only did 352 damage right there. So, cool. Anyway. So, most people, well, I do want to say that, yes, I can only be proxy spotted. But it is also true vision, so you don't need to spot me to actually see me. Same with the armadillo video I did yesterday. I really just want to go... Also, I really like this maneuver that I did. I basically ran into the Arctic Hiss to slow one down so he can lose all his speed and get shot up by my allies. It's a nice little tactic that I, I like to use. Anyway... I would love to do a video where I take every light tank in Cold War and put them with the best concealment they could possibly get and see where is every tank getting spotted at. Where it gets spotted at when it's shooting and where it's sitting still. Since there's the light tank, you don't need silent driving because silent driving doesn't work on light tanks. And this is a really nice kill. Didn't mean to do that. He just kind of ran into me. So I kind of just want to make a video on the Cold War light tanks. Testing how far you need to be. How close you need to be to get spotted. When you're fully maxed out on concealment for every Cold War light tank in the game. When firing and sitting still. So really want to do that. So. If you enjoyed this video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, remember to fish because we're always not. And peace out. See ya.